This is a big polka dotted box, isn't it? It's that time of year. Let's see what this is all about. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with a gigantic um, polka dotted box. And it is, I said in the in the little intro, it's that time of year. Um, it is the time of year where I usually order and open a 30 pound denim box. All right, I'm getting this situated here. Um, so, the PTA at my school, they have a denim drive every year. And it's a contest between several of the schools, whatever school brings in the most denim, and I think now it is counted by piece and not by the pound. It used to be by the pound. Whatever school brings in the most pieces of denim, is, this is through Goodwill. Goodwill um, gives that school or that PTA money. And it can, I think the top prize is $1,000 and then it goes down to $750. And then maybe it goes down to $500. And so there's three prizes. And, um, what I like to do is order a denim box, pull out pieces that I want to sell, and I donate the rest towards that. And some people, you might be watching right now, scratching your head going, that's like the dumbest thing ever. Not to me. It means a lot to me. I am, I represent all the teachers at my school on our PTA. Okay, I'm the teacher representative. I have been the teacher representative for six or seven years, I don't know how many years, and I've always done this. It is, um, this is near and dear to my heart because this money, if we win, if we win some of this money, will go towards a scholarship for one of our seniors, one of our senior PTA members, or, you know, mem uh, a PTA student member who is a senior in high school. It will go towards a scholarship for that student. So this means a lot to me to be able to do this. I think in my mind, if I can spend $30, get things for me to sell and things for me to donate, it's a win for me both ways. So let's open this up. Let's see what I'm going to sell, what we're going to donate and um, and work from there. Yes, I'm, I know that there will probably be pieces in here that I say, I'm going to donate this. And, and you all might be sitting at home going, no, I would sell that. I would sell that. Um, no, I mean, this is the whole, you know, the biggest reason I do it. It helps my business, but it also helps somebody else. So the denim box is 30 pounds of denim for $32. I know that I got this when they had a 30% off sale. So I will pop up a price of what I actually paid for it. Now, I, there's no way in the world I can hold this box up and show you what's in it. It was hard enough just getting it in my lap. So here's our green polka dotted paper. Love using this to uh, rewrap things in and let's start pulling. All right, first thing we got, these um, some elastic waist. Well, they've got elastic in the back and they've got a regular button and zip front. Not a great brand, Vanilla Star. Um, let's see, it is a 28 or a seven. And honestly, this, this right here looks like it was done by hand, like maybe a homemade thing. The knees are, you know, a little distressed, but like I said, that raw hem, I guess that kind of looks like it might've been done by the owner. Um, these for me are a donate. They are a donate for me. Um, I don't think Vanilla Star sells well. All right. Oh, oh yeah. I don't, I don't mess with maternity. I know some people do. It's just not my jam, not my bag. And this does have some puckering up in here where the um, spandex breaks down and you can feel Sometimes you can see it really well, but you can feel the thinning of the material. So these will be a donate for me. 
We're not starting off good for sales, are we? Let's just see. We'll see what we get. We'll see what we get. I would probably sell these. As long as they're in good shape. They, they've got some, some pretty severe puckering, too. But this is a Levi's curvy boot cut. It's the um, 529, but they do have quite a bit of puckering up here. Um, rippling in that material, thinning of that material. So, yeah, I'm just not comfortable. If you can see all that wear right there, I'm not comfortable selling those. I really am not. Um, how much they're thinning in the, in the crotch area. I mean, there's just no other better word for that. All that thinning. I'm not comfortable selling those. So, no, we haven't even found a pair to sell yet. This might not be good for me, but maybe good for donation. These feel terrible. And that's because they are YMI. They're the super skinny legging. And yeah, I'm not even interested in selling these at all. Not, not even. They don't even feel like jeans. So you guys are probably scratching your head going, what? It'll be okay if... <laughs> If I don't find enough to sell, it'll be okay. I, I could either do this or I could go ahead and donate that $30 to the PTSA. Either way, you know, um, this way there's a chance that I find things that I can sell. All right, here is another pair of 529 boot cut. Let me see if I can find a size. Where is your size? I do not know. Oh, maybe it's a 28. Maybe it's a 28. These look decent though. I don't see nearly as much wear and puckering um, right in here as in the other pair. There might be some, but it is not severe. So 529 boot cut. It looks like a medium wash. I think right now light wash is in, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the back pockets. And they look good all around. So I'm going to put these in my yes pile. Hey, <laughs> we got a pair. We got a pair. All right. We got the Old Navy Rockstar. Um, Mid-rise. And they are a two. Oh, that's tiny. They are a two. So they're super skinny. Um, They don't look bad. They've got some distressing at the knees. So they don't look terrible. They're not particularly in style right now. But there are people who will not give up their skinny jeans. So because I don't have much in the yes pile yet, I will put these in there. Okay. Those probably wouldn't go for much. Maybe 15. They're not going to go for very much. All right. What have we got here? I think this is good. I think. I've never gotten this brand before. I've never found this brand while thrifting. They look like a high rise. And we've got some distressing and some seriously chewed hems. I forget what that's called. It's, it's almost like a shark bite hem. Um... So those look really cool. Hang on, let me see if I get this right. Yeah, that looks really cool. And they're nice, kind of a lighter wash. Here's the back side. They look good. And they're size 28, so about a six. And they are L'Agence. Um, again, a brand I have never found, but I think if memory from watching other YouTube videos um, serves me correctly, L'Agence is a good brand. So, it says Fabrique O U S A. Why didn't they put E U, Etats Unis? That's interesting. Half French, half English. Okay. But yes, we're going to put that in the yes column. And I've got something to research. Well, this brand, oh, <laughs> the tag is cut out. The tag is cut out. Um, do I see a size in here anywhere? Now I I will list this. Um, this is from summer of 16. It's a little old. 
I don't see a size though. So this might be a no, just because I do not see a size anywhere. I wonder if it was on this tag. Um, but they're dark skinny, dark wash skinny, no distressing, basic pair of jeans. And they are, even though their tag is gone, they are J. Crew. And there's the button. There's the J. Crew button. I was looking to see if there was any other J. Crew branding. Yes, all the rivets. All of the rivets have J. Crew on them also. Um, this is an iffy for me because there is no size. So I'm um I'm not I'm not real mm, keen on listing a pair that is out of style, being a skinny dark wash, the tag ripped out, and no size. So I'm gonna put that in the donate pile. I don't, I don't want to measure and go by measurements. I'm, we're going to call me lazy. I wonder what that is on that. I don't know. All right. Doesn't matter anyway. I'm not going to list these. All right. <laughs> this is a Lee Capri. I'm not going to list these Capris. And so they've got some kind of like bleach spot right there. And some kind of really dark spot right there. So I'm not interested in doing anything with these. They are a Lee Regular Fit Capri Mid-Rise, and I am not seeing a size tag anywhere. So, yeah, <laughs> this is not the best box, is it? Maybe that's why they had them on sale. This looks like, oh, uh, I was going to say, this looks like a decent size pair of jeans. So, this is Time and True, and they are size 24. So women's 24, they are a light wash with um, kind of a straight leg, but it probably has a slight taper to it. It's not a, probably not a hundred percent straight leg. It looks like a, a high rise. Definitely looks like a high rise. Um, Do they have, it's called the 24 straight. Okay, 24 straight. Um, Since these are a plus size and they look like they're in pretty good shape and being a light wash, I'm gonna put them in the yes. Yes, I know it's Walmart. Yes, I know it's time and true. But I I don't do half bad selling plus size clothes like Ava and Viv and try, time and true and things like that. Um, it's not gonna pay for the box, but it's going to you know chip away at that 30 some dollar total. Okay. Got a pair of skinnies. Skinnies. Um, they've got a normal hem, no distressing, kind of a mid medium wash. Medium wash. Here's the pockets. Pockets look good. All right. And these are Hollister and they are a 2631. Hollister does okay for me. Even though this is a skinny, I'm going to put it in the yes. Like I said, you know, I teach teenagers all day. I still see a ton of skinny jeans, um, a ton of skinny jeans. So there are people that are just not giving them up. <laughs> okay, these, well, they're cute. Now, I know I do well with this brand in a plus size, but I don't know about this. So these are Maurice's, and it says that they are an extra small regular I don't like when they size jeans like that because everybody usually uses a number size for their jeans, but I like the distressing with the little fabric behind it. Like it has like red fabric behind it here and blue here. Looks like a skinny. So I do like that. The back pockets have some distressing. I'm going to stick them in the yes and uh, we'll see. So. I have to have the, the reason I'm doing this, reason that you're seeing this now, April, you should be seeing this on Saturday, April 13th, is I have to have the donations ready. They have to be take to the donation place on April 20th, next Saturday. So I wanted to hurry up and get this box open so that I could um, get that ready. Here's a brand I've never seen before. All right, so we've got some distressed, like, Knees blown out. 
jeans in a light wash look like a straight leg for sure. Um, what have you guys heard of that? What is that? A Lee Artisan jeans? I have never heard of that in my life. Um, the button is branded. Um, American design. They are a size 27. So I'm, I'm clueless. I'm very, very clueless on these, but they're cute. They're really cute. So I have to do my research before, <laughs> um, before next Saturday so that I can decide whether I want to sell those or not, but I put them in the yes pile. All right. Dang it. We got another pair with the tag cut out. I wonder if the tag was itching somebody, you know, and they cut it out. Um, looking for a size, another tag, anything. And I don't see anything. Well, that stinks. That's why these will probably go to the, to the donate. So, oh, these look cute though. Oh gosh, these are cute. I don't know if I can donate these. I might try to sell these on size because you got a little bit of a flare with a slit on the side. Um, let's look at the front and see if we see major puckering. I do not. They look like a high rise, medium wash. Like I said, a bit of a flare, a bit of a flare with um, a slit up the side. These are Zara, but I can't find, I think everything was right there. And I can't find a size or any other kind of tag. But again, if you look at the button, it says Zara. And do these say Zara? Yes, even the rivets say Zara. I'm gonna put them in the yes. Um, if I see that they're comping really low, I'll I'll change them over to the donate. Hate that they don't have the size in them. All right, these feel terrible. Well, that's why. All right, <laughs> got a pair of black jeans that feel so thin and so gross. And these are H and M. Um, and I'm just not interested in selling really thin. H&M black jeans. They're a size two. So, yeah, they'll go to donate. Hey, maybe we'll win. Right? <laughs> hey, shorts. Definitely could use some shorts to list. Okay, these are Kato. <laughs> Kato size four. Um, They're cute. They've got it where, like, almost, I guess I would consider them the Daisy Dukes, where the pockets hang out of the bottom. Um, they look halfway decent. They wouldn't sell for a lot, but I would, I would list them. Um, maybe, you know, maybe if there's some other size four shorts I can list them with, do that. But I would list those. Just probably not for a ton. Okay. What have we got here? Eh, yeah. All right. Again, not, not a great brand. I actually like wearing this brand. They're very comfortable, but I know they don't resell very well. Um, again, this might be a homemade raw hem. This might be hand done by someone. Um, so there's, there's the hem at the bottom. And they're just a basic pair of medium wash. And they are a size 12 bandolino. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, I'll put them in the yes, but I have a feeling they'll go to donate. All right. Um, all right, these, so D jeans, and they are a size 18W, and they are capris. Um, I The only capris I ever have luck selling are plus size capris. So I think sometimes plus size girls may not wear a lot of shorts in the summer, but they will wear capris. So um, I put them in the yes. We'll see. We'll see. All right. We've got another pair of some basic jeans, but these, do these look really bad? Yes. Oh, they're terrible. Um, 
look at all that puckering. Do you see how that fabric is all wrinkled right there in, in the um in the crotch? I hate saying that word. And so these are gonna go to donate, and these are Calvin Klein um Slim Boyfriend size 14, but way too much puckering for me to want to sell. Okay, we have a pair of high-rise skinny jeans, high-rise skinnies. I don't see, do I see any puckering? Not a ton, but there is some thinning, major thinning and pilling right here. You see how the fabric has changed colors. Um, here's the back. These are the Old Navy High Rise Super Skinny, size 12. Um, because of all that thinning and color change in the crotch, I will put those in the donate pile. The donate pile is big, yellow, yellow. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Are these supposed to be yellow? because even the tags inside are yellow. Almost like somebody dyed them and the tags and everything died. I wonder if they were supposed to be white and somebody dyed them, but these are interesting and they are page. So we've got some yellow, almost they, they have a very carpenter look to them. The way that they are just seem really baggy. But, you know, they don't have all the carpenter pockets and loops and things like that. But these are neat. They are a size 29. Um, yeah. Um, huh. Okay. All right. Um, uh, interesting. I'm, I don't know how yellow jeans from Paige would do. We'll put them in the yes pile. Sometimes I can sell page, sometimes not. All right. What have we got here? These feel like a decent size. I don't know about these, y'all. These are just like a really basic pair of jeans. And anybody recognize bull Bulwark? Bulwark? FR? Anybody, anybody know that? I don't. And it has like a thing right here where maybe somebody's name was. These feel like something you would wear if you're in the military. Um, They are. I think because I think this they're flame resistant. I think these have like something to do with the military because that See that 14, what is it? 1434U, that is something that I see on, on military clothing. This garment is flame resistant, bulwark flame resistant apparel. So I wonder if it is for like a specific type of job. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'll put these in the yes column. They could be a, you know, a good seller if someone needs specialized clothing for a job. Okay. I guess the FR means flame resistant, fire resistant. Maybe that FR, maybe that's what that meant. Okay. We got another pair of Old Navy Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise. These are black. These are black basic pair. No distressing, and they are a size four. Um, I'll put them in the yes. They're not gonna sell for a lot, but I'll put them in the yes. My yes pile doesn't look too bad. All right, oh, got some flat pockets, um, but yeah, not a great brand. Okay. <laughs> So we got a pair of jeans with like a, a flare bottom. Somebody's definitely walked on them. Um, so somebody wore them and and loved them. They've definitely been walked on down here. 
I said we had flap pockets. And if you can see that, they are wallflower. Wallflower, I think, is that sold at Rue 21, I think. Um, and they are, well, this says 17. So junior sizing, maybe they would fit a 16 in like women's size. Uh -huh. I don't know, you guys. I feel like they wouldn't do well. I'll double check, but the fact that it's junior sizing, I don't know. Gosh, have you ever heard me say, I don't know this much? I wonder if this is good. I wonder if this is a good brand. Hmm. The stitching looks terrible. Okay. Um, <laughs> these are cute, though. Check these out. They are a definite, like, wider leg. Again, is that slit supposed to be there? Maybe on the inside. And you've got, you know, some distressing. This hem is crazy looking, but I think it's supposed to be crazy looking. All right, let's see. Yep, yeah, I think you're supposed to have this slit. More distressing. And then the back, they're a nice light wash. They look like a high rise. I see what might be a little stain right there or a little something I might have to try to get out. And these are called Avec les filles, with the girls, with the girls. That's what that means. And so the reason I was like, are these good? Because it reminded me of the brand Comme des Garçons, like the guys. Um, so I wonder if they're related. Avec les filles, Comme des Garçons. Uh, and then you've got, it's a size 29. So, interesting. Not a brand I'm familiar with. Don't recognize the RN number off the top of my head. So, and it's got, the reason I was saying the stitching, that didn't look quite straight to me. That looks a little sloppy. So, I was like, yeah, the stitching doesn't look great. Um, But, I will look into them because I'm clueless about Avec les filles. All right. All right, we've got another pair of light wash, blown out knee jeans, distressed. Um, another slit on the inside. Interesting that all of these are getting thrown in there. And here's the back side. I think this this leather tag has seen better days. Um, they are a USA six, and they are Zara. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try these. We'll try these and um, see what, what shakes out with these. Okay. We got a couple more pair, you guys. All right, a couple more. This is not something I've ever seen before either. Lots of new to me pieces. Okay, so we've just got a pair of light wash jeans. Look like it might be a high rise. Um, maybe a skinny. Yeah, maybe a skinny. Okay. Very basic pair. Okay, no, no frills, no bells, no whistles. Five pocket. Um, size 10. Candace Cameron Bure. Wasn't she in, um, I know she was in, in like an 80s show. <laughs> no. Was she the one in, oh gosh, that show with the twins, um, with Mary-Kate and Ashley, was she in that, Full House, was she in Full House, was that Candace Cameron? Anyway, I'll check into these, because I know nothing about that. <laughs> like, yeah, this, this, oh, I've got two more pairs. This has been the I don't know box, really. <laughs> All right, we've got another pair darkish wash skinny jeans again no very plain on the front you got some wild pockets on the back and otherwise plain not in bad condition they're actually in very good condition um from what i can see and i'm looking for a size size 11 so again we've got some junior sizing i'm not real keen on junior sizing and it's another pair of wallflower jeans. So, 
again, it's going over in the yes, and I will see like what comps look like and decide from there. I definitely don't need inventory, but I've already explained why I bought this box. <laughs> so, okay, our last pair. These look like a, you know, well-washed, and I think it's supposed to be like a faded black jean. They look super high rise. Um, we've got some distressing on the front, a straight leg, and here's the back side. Back side is normal, you know, not a ton of distressing or anything. And these, what size are you? These are called the high waist cropped straight. Let me see if I can find a size for us. 29, size 29. And they are seven for all mankind. I do okay with these. I don't do bad with these, so I will put those in the yes. So I'm curious, what I wanna do is count up my yeses and um, see what we came up with as far as ones I wanna sell. One, I got these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20. So potentially 20 pairs of jeans to sell. Let's see what I'm donating for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'm donating nine. So look, $32 and I got 29 pairs of jeans. Literally all pretty much jeans, except for like two pairs of capris and a pair of shorts. 29 pairs. So even if, think about this, I paid, it, I, I paid less than 32 for this. Even paying 32, then maybe the $10 shipping, you know, paying 40, let's say after tax, $45 for this box, 29 pairs of jeans. Let's say you sold all of them for $10 each. I mean, I know that's, you know, there are some that are going to sell more. You are coming out $290, subtract the cost of your box, subtract, you know, platform fees, and you're doing okay. You're making probably three times your money three times what you put in. So that's not terrible. That is not, I think this is one of the better bargains on the ThreadUp website. So if I, I don't think I'll have time to edit this and let you guys know exactly whether I'm going to keep some of these or, or put them in the donate because I'm filming this on a Friday night and you're watching it on a Saturday and it's going to be low edit mode. I haven't had time to make videos in advance. So anyway, um, that's what you can expect. If you've never gotten the denim box, this was typical of what I generally get in a denim box. So, um, if you like this video, you like unboxings, give it a thumbs up. If you learn something, give me a thumbs up. If there's any info you can give me, especially about all those pairs, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um, let me know down in the comments. What do you know? Drop some knowledge on me and help me in my research. I would definitely appreciate that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. I'm a part-time reseller, full-time teacher, and I put out two videos a week, one usually every Wednesday and one every Saturday. I do Mr. Unboxings, I do thrift hauls, I do clothes, jewelry, shoes, plush. I dabble in a little bit of everything. So if reseller content interests you, um, please subscribe to the channel. Love to have you on board. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.